Uh, there are two different types of cornea transplants that are currently available here at North Shore Eye Care. Uh, there is the traditional full thickness cornea transplant uh, known as the penetrating keratoplasty. Um, and that is where you um, remove the entire cornea from a patient. You take a donor cornea from somebody who unfortunately died but donated their eyes, take their cornea, and suture it into place onto the patient so they have an entirely new cornea. There is a newer, more sophisticated type of cornea transplant known as a DSEC. It stands for Decimate Stripping Automated Endothelial Keratoplasty. And that's almost like a partial cornea transplant where you're just replacing the inner layer of the cornea. Uh, all forms of cornea transplants are done in an outpatient setting. The whole procedure takes under an hour and you go home the same day with a patch and shield over the eye and, and you come see us in the office the next day where we remove the patch and shield. The recovery process for a full thickness cornea transplant is a bit longer than with the DSEC. With a full thickness cornea transplant, you're pretty much back to normal within a few weeks, but visual recovery takes um, many months up to a year for your best vision. With the DSEC or the partial cornea transplant, your visual recovery takes closer to a month. So there's quite a big difference in visual recovery. So if you're able to get the partial cornea transplant, that really is the way to go. But there are certain corneal diseases that do require full thickness cornea transplant. Cornea transplants are permanent. A transplanted cornea has a shelf life of about 20 years, but with uh, close follow-up and, and treatment, it can last beyond 20 years.